Months have passed, and the female Tyrannosaurus has built a new nest, camouflaged in the forest. Mother keeps watch. For the full two months of the egg's incubation, she will not leave her station or even eat. She knows her nest is a magnet to scavengers, like this dromaeosaur. His cautious approach is watched by the Tyrannosaurus. She judges exactly when he has got too close. As the sun sets, another threat comes out to haunt the mother. With food becoming scarce, the mammals are getting bolder. She checks the nest to make sure that more have not burrowed in, and then returns to her vigil. The weeks pass, and above the brilliant volcanic sunsets, there are the telltale warning signs of an even more destructive natural disaster. Showers of shooting stars herald the approach of a giant comet on a collision course with the Earth. Far below, the dinosaurs are oblivious. The Taurosaurus herd continues to feed. Nervous of moonlight predators, younger animals seek protection among the larger adults. However, using the darkness, a pair of dromaeosaurs try to unsettle the herd and isolate one of the youngsters. safe, but the predators have tasted blood and will not give up easily. Morning reveals the results of last night's tussle. The little Taurosaurus lost his fight with the predators. For the herd, it is a blow. Too few young are being born in this polluted environment. A didelphodon is already at the carcass. These little opportunists are about the only animals that are thriving. During their long reign, the dinosaurs have adapted to many huge changes, but now they are facing a combination of events that will spell their doom. After a long trek across the ash fields, a group of Anatotitan gather around a stagnant pool to drink and feed. Huge batteries of chewing teeth make short work of the vegetation. Once again, the predators make the water's edge a dangerous place. The group senses danger and starts to break up.
The mother Tyrannosaurus has broken her fast, and she is back with a vengeance. <laughs>